Time to tear down the polytunnel. Here's the current state. I need to tear down the white in the back. I've got to grab all this awesome soil and put them in the pots that they were in. They were in the aeration pot, so I'll fill those up. It's looking pretty good. I've got the iris. Look at this. The iris that I split last year is there. Lots of weeds to clear out. But for the most part, I've got my path again. All of these petunias would not be so happy if they didn't have this polytunnel. But since it is past the first frost date where I live, I gotta take this down or it's gonna start cooking all the plants inside. This has been here for since October inside the polytunnel. <laughs> Very primitive. This is how you can cut your cost to make a polytunnel. You can tell when a man has done this because look at that duct tape. I can't even get that off. I'm gonna have to ask for Ryan's help. Pulled all the weeds out, took down all of the poles with the duct tape. Now what I've gotta do is take my compost, shred these, and any of the other compost, put them on the bottom of my aeration pots, and then I'll grab some of this good soil and top that up with that. And then after that, I'm gonna put another layer on top of it with some worm compost. Got my work cut out for me. There's at least probably 17 bags here. Here's what it looks like before. Here is the end result. I'm starting to realize that the trees are getting more and more taller and fuller, resulting in less sun above my garden, which is a real problem. It means it reduces a lot of my hours of sun to get that tree, at least one of the limbs down. And then I also need to cut back this limb over here on this tree to help with these pots here. It's a dilemma every year for me. <laughs> All right, the current plans for this, I'm putting clover around the edges. And then what I want to do is interplant them with zinnias. So I'm gonna experiment with the two and I think they'll look really pretty together. Now for in front, of these areas, I wanna put the white alisum in the middle, right in front of those zinnias being interplanted with clover. Then I'll try these creeping zinnias again in between the stones. So that is the current plan. So that'll be a pretty fun little project. I'm gonna water this area real quick. Looks like some birds have been burrowing through the soil today. This is looking good. This is the area I'm gonna start at. And then, as for this walkway, I'm thinking about putting some... No, I already ate. Okay. But as for this area, I plan to put marigolds and basil on the outside of the pots. That way I have more room for other edibles on the inside of each pot. So back there, each of these corners. I'm trying to use as much space as I can for every nook and corner. Next up, I'm gonna get rocks. A tiny little gap in between each area. And this is just a marker for me to know about the spacing for the zinnias. I'm basically going to plant around each of these areas, kind of like a U shape. I'm gonna grab my seeds. Up there, same thing here. Just a couple. And I'll come back through cover these in a sec. Next up is clover. I absolutely love the bead shape of these. So we're gonna do just a nice little sprinkle. So I did it right there, so we're gonna put a couple here. Next is alisum. Look how tiny they are. One here, and I'm just sprinkling. Sprinkle, then I'll ruffle it since these are very thin and small. They're kind of like lettuce seeds. Actually, they're a little bigger than lettuce seeds. Get some gloves. 
ruffling it around. This should be good. This is the creeping zinnias. Just gonna ruffle it around. Just ruffling around the Allison now. Okay. Now we're gonna make sure we don't mix up the, the two different types. Keep them separate. Let's see, I covered up that pretty good. All right, time to cover it. I usually only keep this covered for three or four days to prevent birds from eating the seeds. Add a couple rocks for the wind. This will be checked on every day to make sure there's moisture retention. Here it is. As for these little gaps here, I have plans to put sunflower seeds in between. Because the problem I have every year is I'll put the sunflowers here and then I can't see them because the sun's facing that way. So if I could put them in this lane here, and I'll be putting them some in the back over there, I'll be able to see their beautiful sunflower faces. 